This is Fountain Pendulum. We're continuing our Traveler's Notebook comparison journey. And in this video, I have here the Galen Leather Traveler's Notebook. So with, as with many um, Galen Leather items, they come in these beautifully uh, arranged cardboard boxes. They're very sturdy and nice. It's a good presentation and an excellent way to make sure that your leather item arrives without being smashed, scratched, or damaged. And then a nice sleeve. And with Galen leather items and orders also, it always comes with a nice um, kind of handwritten letter that includes some information about the company and a thank you. And usually there's some treats in the package as well. So we have here just a Galen leather sleeve. So we'll set these packaging items aside and take a look. So um, this is the traveler's notebook that I ordered. I'm going to switch here to an online view so I can show you what the ordering process is like because they have colors and you actually get to pick your own elastic and so on also. So here we are at the Galen Leather website. So we're going to go to menu, notebook covers, traveler's notebook. And here are the different traveler's notebooks that they have available. And the colors and the sizes, of course, and um, special inserts, which are really cool. And they have tons of accessories, so check all that out. But to stay on track here, um, I got the traveler's notebook in brown. And then also um, I got the passport size with hand stitching. So that's um, the additional there. And then you can pick your elastic color. So I got F, which is mustard. And then you have the option here of choosing your brass charm or leather tag. You can also add on um, a wallet insert. So there's lots of um, upgrades and add-ons that you can do. I love that they let you pick the elastic color that you'd like. These wallet inserts are really cool too. Um, we can actually check that out really quick. But I was going to say there's no photo that I could find on their website or online what their um, hand stitched one look like. So I was, I like hand stitching, so I was really curious. So that's what I ended up getting. Um, here we can do wallet insert just really quickly for the passport size. And these come in different colors, but basically it's a slip in system that you can add on. Here's a good picture, um, onto your notebook. So let's get back to the review of the item I ordered. Here are some of the interesting specs to go over on this Galen Leathers Traveler's Notebook um, leather cover in brown, but it applies to all the different colors also. Um, so here um, it says 100% handmade in Turkey and also um, the various sizes, but here materials, 100% vegetable tanned cow leather, hand stitched using wax polyamide thread. The edges are beveled, waxed, and burnished for a finished look. So I wanted to make sure to provo uh, provide that information for you also because I did not specify earlier. All right, so back to this here. So um, like I mentioned, this is the brown, the mustard elastic. So they did it both on the spine and the cover and then the stitching. So the stitching feels like it is, um, you know, a, th a woven thread kind of, and it feels lightly waxed and it's quite substantial. Um, I want to show you this is my Galen leather case and it has stitching on it as well. And as I mentioned earlier, I didn't see any photos or images of what this stitching looked like for the Traveler's Notebook cover. So I was kind of 
I suppose in my mind, expecting that it would look similar to the stitching that they have on their other various um, leather items. Uh, this is in the natural leather. But as you can see um, in comparison here, that the stitching is quite larger, more substantial than the stitching. So, you know, that's up to everyone's personal preference on that. Um, then we can go ahead and open it up. So the leather itself is quite sturdy. I would say, um, I think rigid is maybe too strong of a word, but if you look at the flexibility that it has, it's on the firmer, stiffer side. It's a good thick leather. Um, we're at 2.1 millimeters. So most traveler's notebooks um, of a good quality leather land you in 1.8 to 2.2 realm generally. And then um, we've got the inside is the natural, so it's not lined or anything. So this is the natural suede and it's a pretty compact one compared to some of the others. The edges are finished very nicely. It feels like there's a coating that has made them smooth and it's stitched all the way through, as you can see. Then we've got the four elastic cords and then this is the backside of this. The, um, these elastic cords came already knotted and they have been trimmed and um, sealed off so they don't fray. So that's very nice. Everything is just so on this. Um, the leather style is a beautiful color and it seems very much like a good green leather. Uh, there's actually a lot of information about the leather on the Galen um, leather website. I'm going to link that in the description because um, they do use very high quality leather and they actually have an enormous amount of information on their website about, they have an article on the types of leather and they actually have an article all about the Traveler's Notebook, the origination of it, which was with Midori. And they actually provided references for other Traveler's Notebooks that are prominent uh, like Chic Sparrow and others, which I think is like props to them. They're just very transparent and very helpful with that article. I found it tremendously helpful in my research. So thank you Galen Leather for just being such an awesome company um, on that. So yeah, that's, that's the overlook of it. So this is the back part of the spine and this has been, you know, it's brand new. So this is how the leather comes. Um, lots of character to it. There is different, you know, for the folding area, it kind of has produced a little bit of color variation. It, um, it feels very high quality, very hefty. Uh, this is very smooth. There's not a lot, it's pretty slick. Like there's not a lot of, um, that's how I would describe the texture. It is very smooth. So Let's go ahead and take some measurements and then we're going to put some inserts in so we can see how it's feeling. So going across here, chest about one tick past the eight and a half mark. And again, just slightly past five and a half. So it's a little bit more of a roomy passport. And I like that it has the four cords. So let's load this up and see how it fares. So this is the white paper insert. This is my sticker insert. This is um, 
I'll do my watercolor insert next. The elastics feel like they did a very good tension on them. They're not too tight and they're not too loose. Um, it's tied off um, also in such a way that I don't think there's any more room to expand them. So basically, yeah, there it is. Um, they are what they are. They're, you can make them tighter, but not looser. And I don't think I want them looser. I think they're just perfect the way they are. And then this is my cream insert. All right, so there we go. I'm really liking how everything fits in here. The way that they've spread everything out, I don't feel like any notebooks are pushing each other out of the way. They all have a very designated spot to live in. And I like that with four inserts, nothing is surpassing the cover. And they all align very, you know, for the most part, very straightly, which I really like. So it, it feels nice and hefty and substantial in the hand um, without, I, I wouldn't describe it as bulky, but um, it is a, a, a sturdier feeling of leather. So you can strap that off and that's how we're looking. And also, um, Galen Leather sells their Leather Balm. So I picked up one of these along with my order. Um, it's very natural, so I like that about it. It says Cocoa Shea Butter Almond Oil. And um, I'll do a different video on applying this to the Galen Leather products. Um, I don't feel the need, you know, as soon as I buy it to have to coat it up and apply it, although you certainly could. Um, I'd say that if you tend to be an individual who um, is a little more accident prone, like if you're gonna see yourself dropping coffee or water or ink on this um, and you don't want to be getting your leather stained, it's in a good condition right now, but this would add a protective foundation to this further to avoid those kinds of stains. Um, so I think it just depends. There's directions on the back. So um, yeah, that's a rundown of that. Now I do have this uh, insert also, and I'll put this in the links below. This is not the Traveler's Company one. Uh, Mortem is the brand for this one, but let's slip this in because I know that this zipper exceeds a little bit more. That fits really nicely also. Um, so it, again, it doesn't exceed the realm of the cover itself. So I think that the measurements and the size for this is really good. If you're planning to use your traveler's notebook for, you know, this number of inserts. And I'm thinking that myself, I'm probably going to end up having three, but I also have, um, I also have some more, uh, I have a clear cover coming. So I can, I can definitely see myself needing the room, even though I'm not planning on having four inserts and the fact that these are going to expand as I put more things inside of them also. So I think that this is a fabulous size and I'm really pleased with the quality of the leather. I think that with handling, um, this will patina well because it's a, it's a very premium leather and um, it does look like it has some wear on here, but I was reading on their, on their blog or on their website that um, because of the premium leather, it does come with a little bit more character. Um, so read up on that too, but it doesn't, it seems actually quite scratch resistant. It doesn't look like it will scar easily. So I would say, um, again, being on a little bit more the firm side, um, there's definitely flexibility here, but it is, you know, a little bit thicker. So for my preferences, I think that as with wear and also with 
the balm, it'll become perfect as far as suppleness goes. I'm very pleased with the leather leather quality and the feel and the color I think has so much characteristic um, compared to some of the other leathers that I have seen and um, you know I wasn't sure what to expect with the stitching because like I said there's no uh, photos provided that I could find on the website or even just doing a simple Google, Google search or a YouTube search I haven't seen any images of what the Galen leather stitching looks like for the Traveler's Notebooks. So here it goes. And it did say matching color. So I would presume that if you got a darker color, they have a darker thread to match the look of it. So that is the overview of Galen Leather's Traveler's Notebook in passport size. There's the size compared to my hand. And um, I look forward to being able to enjoy this lovely product. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your Traveler's Notebooks and follow along with me as I continue my Traveler's Notebook journey comparing different passport sizes among different um, well-known brands. I'll see you on the next one.